Welcome to another session of Women Lead TV. I'm Michelle Burquist, your host of Ready? Badass Business with Women. And with me today is Londi Maduro, and you are badass, oh, I want you, you to know. <laughs> I, I just, I'm so excited to have you on the show thank and supporting you. us. And I, I, my first question to you is, you've got to tell everybody how you are badass, because you are the founder uh -huh. of Blue Child Entertainment, Correct. and you do video and photography and right. all that, so this is super fun today. But how are you badass? Well, for me, I love supporting other women women, especially, well, business owners, but especially women, and giving them great photos and videos that can um, enhance their business, because that's important. And of course, as women, we always want to look good on camera. So if I can help them look good on camera, then I have done my job well. We have to tell with full disclosure, we were like, you know, puffing up and doing our hair and makeup before we got on here. So we're hoping, we're hoping we look badass today. But, you know, I want to talk about, you know, the video thing, because right now video is so hot, you know, for small business, for large companies, the whole viral thing online. It's like, tell me where, well, at least we know it's trending, but how can businesses really take advantage of video opportunities right now to be online and be seen and be heard and all of that? Because it's right. content, right. but it's different kind of content. Exactly. So, of course, as you said, social media marketing is so important right now, yeah. and it's a great way to reach, to have a, a, a greater reach than just your local market. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so it's very important that the video... Um, um, support your brand ah. you know that the video fits your brand because branding is more than just you know the font that you use it's also how you represent yourself it's how your your customers see you from your look your language all of that and so video is a great way to get you in front of more people yeah. and having photos and video that supports that brand is an excellent way to do that so that's my goal to help help business owners really get their brand out there yeah. and make sure that okay this video is something I'm proud of, not just something they shot on their phone because they feel like, okay, I have to do video. It's something that they can be proud of and supports their brand. Well, and talk to me about that a little bit because I know when we started with our Women Lead TV show, we were like Jerry Riggin smartphones. <laughs> you know, now we have a professional, you know, look. We're going to go with a different kind of, right. you know, pop up studio down the road. I mean, these are things that we've evolved to because of your expertise with Thank us. You. And I'm, I'm curious if somebody's going to start as a business, where would you suggest they start? In, in starting to create video for their business? Right, excellent question. I get asked that a I lot. I do ask excellent questions, right? You do. Right? You I'm just going with that you badass. <laughs> That's going to be our theme for the show. <laughs> well, I do feel like, you know, you hear this all the time, especially now that you got the hot new iPhones that shoot great video. Yeah. You know, can I just use my phone? And the answer is yes, you can. Mm -hmm. But the problem comes in is if you don't know how to use it, your video footage is still not going to be a representative of your um, of your product. Right. It's just not. It's not going to rep because you don't know how to use it. You know, you can have a, a twenty or or $30,000 camera, but if you don't know how to use it, it's still going to look like you shot it with a little, you know, camera that you picked up at Walmart. <laughs> I think ours did in the beginning, just so you know. We, we were that client, we were that person, that business. Exactly. So you you have to just, you know, and, and you're not expected to. If that's not what your business is, you're not going to know how to shoot for different skin tones or, you right. know, if you're doing things like this where that you're interviewing different lesson. people, you don't know lighting. So it really doesn't matter what you're shooting with. So yes, I would say to get started, if you're a brand new business and you just need to get content out, do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. But as you start to grow, then you need to start making making sure that your videos and your photos yeah. represent the type of clients you want to attract and what you want your business to, um, yeah. you know, wh how you want your business to be represented. And would you agree that just, just start? I mean, take just a step, start. start, because you will, I, I have to say, you know, there's, there's, there's magic in creating and making stuff up as you go. And you start with one step, <laughs> exactly. and then you start, we're, we're not where we want to be yet. Exactly. We're uh, evolving and doing what we want to do on video. Um, I'm curious, because our audience is women, right, and we mm -hmm. deal with professional women, and my, my favorite, and this is no diss to women, because I'm a woman, but the first thing we think of when we get on video is always, it's like, okay, I'm going to be totally, you know, in, in the female area, but what do I wear? Mm -hmm. how, how, what's my makeup like? Women mm -hmm. get all kind of into themselves about that. What would be some tips you would give to women to literally get over it? I mean, I'm a big girl. It's like I, I, I have my own mindset of things, but how can somebody be more comfortable in this type of environment? Because it is a little unsettling that right. you know you're being videotaped, you know you're on camera, but what can people do if they don't feel it's a comfortable piece for them? Right. Well, I would say there's a couple things. So if, if you can afford it, I would definitely recommend hiring a stylist mm. who can help you dress for your body type, pick makeup tones that right. fit your, your color palette, all that good stuff. I know those words. I love it. <laughs> if you are 
are not, if you're not there, which, you know, some of us aren't, we're, you know, our money is going right back into our business, yeah. then I, I definitely would recommend learning body positioning. So if you have broader shoulders as a woman, then you never want to sit straight mm -hmm. because that's going to make you look broader. So you want to turn to an angle, especially, or if you're self-conscious about your, your size, always angle because angles just kind of give you more curvaceousness. I'm angling now. Hold yeah, on. I'm yeah. sitting straight up. I'm going to angle. Keep going. Yeah. I got some more. Smile a lot. Right. right. Smile a lot. Just be cautious. You know, some of us are worried about our waddle. Oh, yes. So then chin you want to make sure that your chin is up, but not too high where it looks like you're doing this, but right. you know that your head is steady. It's just little things. I would say definitely watch red carpets of Oscars or things like oh. that. You you notice they never stand straight. They're right. always because oh gosh, they've learned right. their body positioning. And that's a learned thing. You're not going to come out knowing that. I love um, in Michelle, Michelle Obama's book, she, uh, was it Becoming? I yes, think it's a, yes. She talks about how she didn't realize how she came off in front of the camera until someone pulled her aside and said, oh, honey, look, wow. we need to have a talk. For her to <laughs> right. not know. I mean, because right? who knows? We don't know. She's just being her, her yeah. normal self, yeah. but it was being received a certain way. So maybe tape you know yourself a little bit and then look at it okay how do I say, oh wow I didn't know I do this all the time you know what I mean right. I didn't know I'm always doing this we all have little nervous habits that we don't realize until we see ourselves on camera well even on I know when ones I've seen when I've been videotaped I like to do this I'm like the nodding yes you know, the, the I do that too <laughs> and I, I kind of go okay stop that right be a little more methodical and you know how right. you move but you know those are great tips mm -hmm. I what else you got give us a few um, more. that's definitely one definitely okay. watching watching your yourself um, even don't talk at yourself in the mirror but do it to camera because we tend to correct you know sometimes you want to practice in the mirror don't practice uh, in the mirror because as you're watching you're correcting actually shoot yourself with your phone if you can put it on a stand or something mm -hmm. and then watch that watch the playback because then you'll see the natural things you do the mirror is a great way to cheat. <laughs> but I didn't know you would correct, but you're right. And uh -huh. it's like if you just do it in front of a camera and then watch yourself. I mean, we are so, I think we, when we see ourselves, we're so critical. Right. And I'm like, we need to get over ourselves. Exactly. Will we say that's the message? I for, totally agree with that's that. That's badass is yes. what I'm going to say on that one. Yes. You know, I know I want our, our audience to know what was your background because you have started this phenom. You know, it's a great trending time to be doing this. Thanks. It's like I think everybody's looking for more content and to be viral online, right. which we are as well. So please like us, share share <laughs> online. But what was your tipping point and reason for starting this business? And, and what was your background before? Awesome. That's an excellent question. So I started off modeling and acting. Of course you did. <laughs> that totally fits. That totally, yes. You are lovely. Uh, thank and you. Badass. Thank you. Um, and you know what? I got tired of starving myself to be a size four. Yeah. And I got tired of auditioning and, and not being right for the part due to this or that. Or, you know, maybe my skin tone's too dark or my eyes are too Girl. big or just silly stuff. And I thought, you know what, I'm no longer going to wait for someone to put me in something. I'm going to start producing and doing things myself. Good for you. So I started just writing and producing content for um, myself. And then friends would be like, oh, wow, you manage that so well. Can yeah. you help me? And since I did go to photography school, I understood lighting and I understood camera angle and composition. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is something that I could do. I enjoy it. I lose time when I'm doing things like that. Like when it's I'm, creative. It's and, fun. Yeah. Even if I'm having a bad day, as soon as I get with a client and I see that smile on their face wow. or we start creating, everything is like it's all melted away. Wow. So I just really enjoy helping people. I enjoy seeing you know seeing that final product and the look on their face when they thought i am not creative or i'm i'm not good in front of the camera and learning these little th tricks and tips they can do like we just talked mm -hmm. about it just brightens my day so as so many awesome. women as i can help um, get their content out there, that's my goal. Dang, I love it. And your eyes just light up when you talk about what you do, which is what, you know, that, that's a secret, right? right? Where if you don't love what you do, what are you doing? Because we can hate what we do all day long for yes. somebody else. So I think that's pretty awesome. Thank you. You know, as you, as you look at your industry and you see the future and, and mm -hmm. the kind of trending things, it's like, is video here for a while? I mean, do you see that it's going to be kind of like here and gone? It's like, 
give us some tips on what the future looks like for sure. video a and also content online because I think that's what we're talking about. I think video is here to stay because we now are we are definitely um, people who like to see. You notice a lot of businesses do even better when their owners are the face of it now. Mm. You know, mm. people want to feel connected to you. You can no longer just put to me. Yes, to, to you, Michelle. To <laughs> okay, sorry, I had to do that. Keep going. You can't just put. You know, I can't just put Blue Child Entertainment and think people are going to want to do business with me. Right. They want to see my smile. They want to see my energy. They want to feel connected, and that we are visual people. And now, especially with technology our attention spans are short so you got to catch them in that first 30 to one minute no one's going to read this awesome you know thing that you believe for your company because it's you can't get a sense of who somebody is with just written words i mean exactly. i love blogs i love how people write but you're right i mean video really gets a sense and you need to be authentic like you know i mean i'm kind of jacked up right now and it's right. like we're having a lot of fun and i'm thinking is this going to come through okay good on video but this is us right, right so exactly. i think it's good well i want to have you back and give some more tips on this because i awesome. think this yes. is great so we're going to work on a 52 tips book for you <laughs> just letting you know that's women league publishing awesome. but thank you yes. for being our badass businesswoman today no i want to thank all of our listeners and viewers for another women lead tv segment because we'll be back again in the short future thanks for watching